You're a mean one, Mr. Grinch. So the Smash Direct came out recently, and it was probably the most disappointing one of them all. It wasn't just the characters that were announced, I mean, come on, we were expecting these two even before the leak. The hype factor just wasn't there. Oh my gosh, it's Piranha Plant! Oh my god, it's Piranha Plant! The overall direct wasn't the greatest in my opinion, but I guess there were some highlights. The World Light Story Mode looks pretty cool. The Smash Ultimate theme has lyrics. Was anyone else shook when this happened? And of course, Piranha Plant. <laughs> I don't even know how to react to this. And finally, DLC. In the direct, Sakurai mentioned that there would be five more DLC characters and stages that would be releasing during the year after the game's launch. So there's still hope for your favorite characters to be in Smash. Well, except for the ones that suffered as assist trophies. That assist trophy segment was brutal to watch. Deconfirmed. 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 I'm sorry, Vince. There's still quite a few characters that I want on the roster, and there's five DLC slots that have yet to be announced. So, here are my top five DLC characters that I personally want in Smash Bros. Ultimate. Now, a quick note before we get started, these are my personal wants for characters, not predictions. The majority of these characters on this list have very slim chances of being DLC. But, it doesn't matter. I'm sure Sakurai has five great characters planned for DLC, but if I had to choose five characters, Here's what they would be. Let's start off the list with the most obvious one, Gino from Super Mario RPG. Now I know what you're thinking. Oh, Gino's deconfirmed because he has a spirit under shell. No. No. He is a player icon. And even if he was a spirit, that doesn't mean he's deconfirmed. They're just a replacement of trophies. King K. Rule, Wii Fit Trainer, and Ridley have all been seen as spirits and their playable characters. I don't get why people think just because they're spirits they're deconfirmed as playable characters. The thing is, Gino is one of the most requested characters right now. When King K. Rule was announced, I thought for sure Gino was in the game. Both King K. and Gino were both highly requested characters back in Smash 4. But Relaxalax did mention that he thinks the roster was finalized a long time ago, and I would have to agree with him. I feel like they were either waiting to see if the requests were still there for Gino, or they purposely waited for DLCs so Square Enix could make a profit. Most likely during the development of Smash, the team has recognized the most wanted characters, and if you look on any top 5 characters, top 10 characters, or even Smash League videos, you'll most likely see Gino in the thumbnail. The problem with Gino is that he's obscure. If they do announce him, most of the younger audience probably won't know who he is, but who knows, maybe they won't take that into consideration. I think he's an awesome character with the potential of a very interesting and original moveset. I wouldn't doubt if he's the first DLC character they released. The demand is high and I think the Smash team realizes it. His stage would have to be the Forest Maze, the place where you meet him in Super Mario RPG, and the music track would be the Forest Maze theme. Alright, we got the obvious one out of the way. Next up on the list is a character from one of my favorite series of all time, Paper Mario. Not only is he from the series, but he's also named after the series, Paper Mario. I would love to see Paper Mario in Smash. He has a lot of source material to make an original moveset, and with him being Paper, he could really stand out from the rest of the roster. Well, almost the full roster. 
My only request for this character is to take most source material from the older games, specifically 64 and Thousand Year Door, because I think this is where most of his iconic moves and abilities could be used in his moveset. He could use his signature hammer as well as his partners from each game. Now an argument can be brought up here saying that adding another Mario character would be too much representation of the Mario series, but Paper Mario is original and would stand out from the rest of the Mario cast. He's a completely different character from Mario and Dr. Mario. I don't really know what his stage would be. There's a lot of different choices to choose from, but I would have to say either Rogue Port from Thousand Year Door or Toad Town from 64. We already have a Paper Mario stage from Sticker Star, so I'd like them to choose a more iconic setting from the Paper Mario series. The stage theme would have to be Rogue Port's theme or the original Paper Mario theme. I don't know how to end this segment, so... I love Paper Mario, and I, I think he should be a Smash next. Okay, this one isn't requested all too much, and I think that's probably because of their names. Rash, Pimple, and Zitz. Or, or maybe it's because no one really cares about them. That, that could be it too. Honestly, I'm kind of surprised no one has picked the Battletoads. Yes, the Ninja Turtles spinoff everybody knows next to Street Sharks. If you don't know who the Battletoads are, they were basically a spin-off franchise of the Ninja Turtles in the 90s and are most known for their beat-em-up games. Battletoads on the NES was known for its extreme difficult gameplay and the Turbo Tunnel. I, I don't want to talk about it. The Battletoads would fit perfectly into Smash. Their original games were beat em up, so you already have yourself a moveset, and their character designs are so animated and expressive. The more I think about it, the more I can see them in Smash. With the original games, their body parts would morph into different things when they would fight, and I could totally see that implemented into Smash. I love them so much, and their animated and expressive design would make for a perfect fit in the Smash roster. Now, they are a rare IP which is owned by Microsoft, so they'd have to get the rights for them, like most characters. My only concern is the amount of hype surrounding the franchise. Even at E3 when they announced they would return in 2019, it got a solid <coughs> out of 10 in terms of hype factor. They didn't even show any gameplay, it was just some dude telling us that they were coming back in 2019. Now these characters are not likely to make it in Smash Ultimate, but if this next game generates enough hype and gains some fans, maybe in the next Smash they'll make it. If we even get another Smash, because really, I can't see anything topping this. Their stage would have to be the Turbo Tunnel, the most memorable stage in the Battletoads franchise, and I guess their music track would be the Battletoads theme, I don't know. One thing that I've noticed in Smash Ultimate is that we never got a retro rep in the final roster. Melee got Ice Climbers and Mr. Game & Watch, Brawl got Rob and Pit, and Smash 4 got Duck Hunt Dog. And I say we continue the retro reps with a character from one of the most iconic games on the NES, Contra. That's right, Bill Riser from Contra. You don't know who Bill Riser is? Oh, he's that guy on, on the cover. Contra was one of the most popular games on the NES. It's co-op NES gameplay at its finest. And of course, you can't forget about the famous Konami code. It fits the classic retro rep format. Now, I know Mockfire would be a cool character to see, but I feel like the Contra series could represent not only a more classic representation of the NES, but even the classic Konami days. Simon is a great classic Konami character. I can't wait for him. But Bill Riser could really be the unexpected retro character that no one would have thought of. His moveset would be unique. In the original games, his main source of attack was his gun, and only his gun. Yeah, he would get different powers for his weapon, but you never saw him punch or anything. There would need to be some original made up attacks for him to balance him out as a fighter, but he could potentially be a projectile based fighter which we haven't seen much of other than maybe Mega Man. His stage would have to be the jungle stage from the first Contra and the music track would be the jungle theme. You could say the Battletoads could be the retro rep, but I would say Bill Riser is a more iconic character on the NES system. And now, my fifth and final most wanted DLC character in Smash, Bandana D. <laughs> you thought I was serious. Banjo Kazooie has been my most wanted character I've had ever since I could remember. He is so classic and would fit in Smash so perfectly, it's hard to believe he hasn't been in Smash for this long. Again, just like the Battletoads, Banjo-Kazooie are owned by Microsoft, but what Banjo has over the Battletoads 
is popularity. This character is finally getting the attention it needs to be in Smash. I will be shocked if Banjo is not DLC. Microsoft is on board with it, the demand is high, and it's a no-brainer. From the character design to the actual fighting moveset, Banjo and Kazooie would be the best addition to the Smash Ultimate roster and would make this game truly the ultimate Smash Bros, in my personal opinion. He has so much source material, his moveset would be easy to make. And his stage, I don't even know what to pick. Grunt Tilda's Lair, Spiral Mountain, Mumbo's Mountain, the list goes on. If there was one character out of this list that I would want in Smash Bros, it would be Banjo and Kazooie. And who knows, maybe adding Banjo will give enough motivation for making a true Banjo and Kazooie game we've all been waiting for. Out of all the characters on this list, I could realistically see two out of the five being DLC and Smash, which is, of course, Geno and Banjo. And like most people's lists, I would love to see all these characters in Smash sooner or later. I tried to make this list stand out as much as possible, but as you can see, that didn't turn out that great. In conclusion, whatever Sakurai has in store for DLC, I'm excited for. I trust that he'll make fun and original characters that we'll all enjoy. I honestly can't wait for this game. I'm just counting down the days until launch. But yeah, thanks for watching. Sorry, I had a little cold when making this video, so if I sounded weird in the video, I'm sorry. But again, thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys later in the next video. Bye bye. Colors leave into a spire of flame. Distant sparks go to a pastel unnamed. Bear this torch against the cold of the night. Search your soul and reawaken the undying light.